I'm about to give me one of these motorcycles. Yeah, I want to ride one of those right there. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So let me tell you how my day went today. Most of you guys who follow my channel, you already know by now, I live in what they call the land of smiles, Thailand. I came out here for eight days, and well, eight days turned into damn near five years. It will be five years in June this year. And almost every foreigner I met out here, they have the exact same story. They treat me wonderful. Hell, they even gave me a little small role in a the movie they made out here. I forget the name of the movie, but it was an Indian Thai movie. I told you guys, the reason why I live out here is because of the way they treat black people. The way they treat everyone in general. But today, I saw something for the first time that I've never seen out here. And that is a Confederate flag sitting on top of someone's shop. Now understand, I was driving home. This Confederate flag is close to my house. I see this shop every day on my way to the house, right? It's a Harley Davidson shop. They sell Harley Davidson motorcycles. They never had that flag up before because I would have seen it long time ago, obviously. So I couldn't believe it when I seen this flag. I mean, you gotta remember, one of the main reasons I live out here is to be as far away as possible from racist people like that. So when I seen that flag, I knew immediately what I was about to do. I was about to drive straight to that shop and find out who the owner is because there ain't no way I'm going to be driving home every day seeing this flag without checking the person who put it up or gave permission to put it up. So I drove over there immediately. Now, and I'm expecting that the owner is some white guy from America because there's a lot of foreigners from different countries that have businesses out here. I'm one of them. I mean, this is a Harley Davidson shop with an American flag, a Confederate flag, and a Thai flag on top of the building. So I go over there expecting to confront a white man from America, but the owner turned out to be a Turkish Thai man, meaning he was born in Thailand, but he's from Turkey originally. But as you can imagine, 90% of his customers are Europeans or white Americans. So I went straight to the shop looking for the owner, and luckily for me, the owner was outside when I went over there. And I'm about to show you guys the footage. I'm about to show you guys what I recorded. But I'm telling you right now, you guys are not going to believe how this story ends. Let me show you the clip first, and then I'll give you the conclusion. This dude got a, he's got a Confederate flag. They actually have a Confederate flag out here in Thailand. Are you, are you your, your shop? Yes. You from America? No, no, I'm tired. Do, do you know what that flag is? Yes, I know. We welcome all the people. That's all. Welcome. Huh? That's all. Welcome. That's... No, no, no. You don't know what this flag is, do you? Yeah, no, I don't know. Okay, so you guys heard what he said. He said, yeah, that flag is for welcome, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So once I completely broke it down, telling him that I'm from America and how offensive this is, especially to put it out here in Thailand. He surprisingly reacted in a very apologetic way. He started telling me how he was a peaceful man and he was basically apologizing and he was surprised what the flag really represented when I was telling him. And the way he was talking to me, he acted like he was in trouble because the way I pulled up on him and jumped out of my truck and immediately start recording the flag and then walking over to him to ask him about the flag, I definitely expected resistance, but this guy showed nothing but the utmost respect. In fact, he showed me so much respect, you know what he said to me? He said, I am taking this flag down today. He told me the flag will be taken down today. So I immediately thanked him and showed him a whole bunch of love. So after sharing a couple kind words with him, I jump in my truck, I take off, but I make a U-turn. And I park across the street from the shop. And do you know, as I was getting in my truck, I seen him walk over to his staff, which are real Thai people, right? And he's talking to them. As I'm pulling out, 
I seen one of his staff members go and get the ladder. So what I decided to do is drive around, make a U-turn, and I parked directly across the street from his shop. And this is what I saw. And just like that, the flag is no more. Guys, that's got to be a record for getting a Confederate flag taken down. Do you know what people have to do in the States to get a Confederate flag or some statue of a racist taken down? People have to protest, sometimes for years or even decades. This flag got taken down in five minutes or less. You know why? because the owner of that shop was not a racist. Now, surely he got the idea of putting that flag up in the first place from some of his racist customers. You know, I tell you guys all the time, when it comes to the Thai people, they're not really racist at all. I mean, of course, no matter where you go, you're always gonna have a small percentage of people that are definitely gonna be racist. I mean, I never said the devil was dead, but what I'm saying is racism is like crime. Even though we'll never be able to completely eliminate crime, everyone wants to live in a neighborhood where there's less of it. So in Thailand, from my own experiences, the only races that I have run across are foreigners. They usually come from Australia, Europe, or some from even America. It's not all of them, but anything over 5% is way too much, especially when you're in someone else's country. They try to come over here and infect these Thai people with that agenda, but they can't do it because their message is like a drop in the ocean out here. So all they can really do is try to infect some of the girls that they talk to out here, but that's a small percentage of the Thai population. At the end of the day, as long as it's not the Thai people that are racist, that's all that matters to me. So once again, man, a lot of credit goes out to this man who took that flag down immediately. If only people move like that in America it would make the country such a better place. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.